today we're going to prepare a sodium thiosulfate solution and then standardize it. Basically two parts. The first part, step one, we're going to prepare it. The second part, we're going to use this titration device and standardize it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take 500 milliliters of deionized water. Well, it's pretty approximate. 2.4 to 2.6 grams and dissolve it in there. This raises the pH of the solution and it reduces the reaction of the thiosulfate with the oxygen. I'm going to swirl that real well just to make sure that it dissolves. You can kind of see that. See, it kind of gets down the bottom. You should have probably put it in the bottle and inverted the bottle to do it, but you wouldn't have seen how it dissolves as well because the bottle is opaque. We've labeled the bottle so that we know that it's not water. And we are going to pour a little bit of our milliliter. solution and we're going to run a little bit through it. I just want to clean it out, basically. I'm going to run it through, make sure it's... It just gets all the, the water that might be down in the bottom of the stopcock. Fill this with our yosulfate, which will be our titrate. Fill it right up to the zero point zero mark as best I can. Remember, you read from the bottom of the meniscus. I'm reading point five. So that will be what I record as my initial burette reading. I'm going to take my 125 milliliter from my flask and I'm going to walk over to this repipette situation. This is potassium iodate. You pull this up, it will immediately put out whatever it's set for. This is at 10 milliliters, so that's what I need. Now this next step, it's very important that you add everything in the order. This is 15 milliliters of deionized water. And I'm going to walk right back over one milliliter of the 0.5 <laughs> potassium iodide. And this has already been set, so I just press it down. At least I think I do. There you go. All right. And it's already starting to turn, let's see, turn yellow. Then I'm going to take one or two milliliters. Of I usually took about two. Yeah, of the acid. We have phosphoric acid. But, okay. And this is just a disposable pipette. I'm going to try to get it to two. It's about right. It's about two. I'm going to put it in immediately, and it starts turning that great color. Three drops of the ammonium molybdate. 3%. This is a catalyst. So immediately, I'm going to go ahead and titrate that. All right, ready? 
what I'm looking for, I'll slow it down a little. We're looking for it to turn, you can have it drop so you can have it streaming. We want it to turn a light yellow. You know, what light yellow means to some people, it might not mean to others. So that is our light yellow color. To that, we're going to take our starch indicator. And the reaction for this is kind of neat. And um, I'm going to add three to five drops. So I'm going to two, three. Three seem to do it. Looks like ink from a squid. I'm going to shake it, swirl it. And it's kind of a blue black color. It's fine. Okay. Now this is where you need to pay attention a little bit. We're going to get it to be clear so that it looks like water again. I'm going to do this with drops just because I don't know when it's going to actually do the, the change. So you see it happening already. And there it goes. So that is our first titration. Um, if you're not careful to get all of the solutions out of here, your reaction will start to happen without you doing anything. So you want to make sure you thoroughly rinse this, give it a good swirl, and just dump the water. This is our chart for our three runs that we did. Our initial reading for our first run is here. The end reading is here. It's just simple subtraction, and it gives us that. We repeated the procedure using our final reading from the first run as our initial. We didn't reload the burette, which it does say in the lab you can do. It's much easier to just do this. So we began at 10, ended at 19, ended with 9.7, began at 19, ended at 29.3, and ended at 9.6. After running through the calculations, this is your average of the three runs. This is what you want to put on your bottle.